Hello and welcome to another new episode of Learning Simplified. In our previous tutorial, so far, we have linked the CSS file that we had created with the HTML file. The purpose of this tutorial is to use an HTML5 along with CSS to build up a template which is something like this one as we can see right over here and in an order to build this template up so far we have practically created a separate HTML file and we had created a style.css and we have linked them together. So this is the style.css and this is the HTML with css.html. The link is made. Both of them are working properly and the body part, the body section is practically left empty. And this is what we are now about to impose some elements and we are going to impose some styling properties along with them. Stay tuned. Now in this body section, in the first case, let's build up all the elements first which will be required in this particular case and in that order, the first thing we are going to do, we will be looking once again into our template. So this is the template right now. Let's divide it into some proper subsection areas and we can see that on the top this is a menu bar which is practically overlaying on the head section on the display banner image. So in an order to build up the header section first we need to create a separate deep class which should be known as header wrapper. So the objective is to wrap up each and every elements into the header section within a single container which is known as header wrapper. And next we will be using, we will be practically creating a class which is known as image holder And within this image holder, we will be creating another div class which is known as menu holder. And within this menu holder, first of all, let's create another div element with a class name of logo holder. Within this class, we are about to put something, but first of all, let's create all the distinct elements which will be used in this particular case. And this is the div element in this respect. So we will be commenting out first. We'll be writing something within this comment section. So this is the HTML comment section where we can put any text which will be helping us to coding up our template but it won't be reflected into the display output into our browser. So here I write it as uh, Here it goes. In the next case, within this logo holder, we will be inserting another uh, image which will be used in this purpose to create this individual logo icon. In the next case, right after this logo holder, we will be creating a class which will be known as nav holder. First of all, let's see what we had done so far. We had created a header wrapper, the purpose of which is to wrap up each individual elements within this particular header section that we had, that we are about to create. 
Next, we had created an image holder div element. Actually, the div element is created which is using a class name of image holder. And the purpose of this image holder is practically to hold up the entire image right into the section. Now, within this image holder, we have created a common or parent container which is known as menu holder and within this menu holder we had created a logo holder the purpose of which is to hold up this icon element right over here and in the next case we have created this individual nav holder the purpose of which is to hold up this entire navigational menu bar within that particular element. So everything is right now being created over here and next we need to add some CSS or style attributes in an order to work them to display them properly. So in that particular case first of all this is the header wrapper so we will be copying it. We will be heading back to our style.css as we had told before that we had an urgency to use this background to understand that both the HTML file and the CSS files are practically been connected. So that is why we had made usage of this background color, but we will be discarding it off anytime whenever it is not needed. So this is what we are about to do right over here. First of all, let's move this individual hex code and instead we will be using this RGB method. This is the RGB uh, color code combination that we are about to create right over here and here we are mentioning that for this red line it will be using 228 bit values. Next for this green line it will be the same and for this next blue line it will be the same that means in each and every cases we have made usage of these 228 values and this is the exact result that we can see right over here if we press ctrl s and head back to our project and reload we can see that this is going to be the output 